myself, I'm keenly aware of some of the structural barriers that do arise in the process of going abroad. I would say that obtaining a visa can seem, especially at first, one of the most daunting and challenging of those processes. But it's definitely not impossible by any means. I would say the first thing to do is to ascertain the specific requirements of A, your country of origin, and B, the country that you're attempting to access. And to do this with at least a few months of leeway. So begin planning three to four months before your intended plan of departure. So the date that you're thinking about leaving the country and accessing your, your new country. Um, and then if anything seems confusing, you can always cross-reference the information. In fact, you should cross-reference the information with the data that you've obtained from the consulate website and from various governmental websites. We've definitely had many international students go abroad before. I know many international students are scared to possibly go abroad because they're like, I don't have a passport, what visa requirements do I need? But it's definitely possible. For instance, my friend from China, she studied abroad in Melbourne, Australia this past summer. She loved it. She got a visa. It was all great. So it's definitely possible. And I would just say we have a highly trained staff in our international Center Education Abroad Office, where I work as well. So please come in and see us and we'll talk about whatever needs to get done, what visa requirements you need, what the process entails, and we'll make sure you have the best abroad experience possible.